hands put it like that I do need help I do need like executive help when I say executive help I'm not talking about I'm not talking about um, getting one or two people to come and help me no I need I need power now at this point my business is growing out of my hands and that is a blessing and this is why I'm running into so many issues because my business is growing way past what I can manage and I'm not ashamed to say that but this is what happens when you have great products you know and, and your products are in demand your business will grow exponentially you know and, and you just can't control it so this is something that I have to recognize and I have to somewhat relinquish some form of I don't know <laughs> I have to relinquish something in order to let a big executive or somebody step in and help me out a bit because my business is actually growing out of my lap it's no longer a, ba a baby company and I can say that and I can say so proudly because I know what my numbers look like I'm pushing numbers so um, to those of you prospective customers who are hoping for products just give me a minute let me just deal with my customers first my customers who actually supported me over the past holiday season my patient customers the customers who I pissed off all of these other crap you know I have to fix that and that's why there's customers appreciation day I have to fix that I have to give them some free stuff to kind of calm them down and make them happy and stuff like that. Me have to make sure, me have to, me have to really appeal to my customers than what I have right now. Me have to hold on to my customers than what I have. Because my customers, them are not just one-time customers. They're two-time customers, three-time customers, four-time customers, five-time customers. I kid you not. These are customers who come to me repeatedly to purchase my products. So I have to really appeal to their customers, ver my customers versus the gamble of, um, maybe you're gonna be a customer I don't know you know so I really I really don't want to sacrifice a dozen cupcakes to somebody who might not come back and buy from me there was this guy who claimed he was going to keep a wedding and he wanted to taste my cupcakes and whatever whatever so I said okay um, I drove <laughs> I drove um, and, and, and gave him these cupcakes and the guy never ended up, the guy ended up not, you know, he chipped me out of a, of a dozen cupcakes. But you have to understand, these are people that you run into every day. So I have to be wise now. I have to wise up myself. I can't just like get free. You know what I mean? I don't mean no disrespect to my prospective customers, but, you know, I have to appeal to who is already here. And, um, you know, <laughs> and appeal to my customers. Hey, Fori, how are you? Um, so... Go on the website, it's there. I'm gonna add USPS as an option for those of you who cannot afford FedEx. Um, you know, I'm showing some appreciation to you guys because without you, there's no me. Without you, there's no Tina Chin Cakes. Without you, there's no Rum Cake Lab. Uh, without your stomachs, there's no cake. You know, um, you know, and you could have gone elsewhere. You could have listened to the idiots and gone elsewhere. You know, but you didn't. You stayed with me over the past three years and you've supported my business. So it, it doesn't matter. It's nothing for me to dedicate a day or two and just mail out some free, free stuff. It, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't hurt. You understand what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Leah. Yeah, like for the, for the samples, I will. Yeah, for the samples. You know, there are people who don't intend on buying anything from you. And them just try use them head. I don't know why people do that. It's damn food. Like, you're going to use your head palm if you just get a dozen cupcakes. Like, that's stupid. Like, that's petty. But believe it or not, there are people out there, you know, that use their heads for lesser things. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, and they take advantages of small businesses. Not saying that I don't do wrong sometimes. Trust me. Let me tell you something, guys. Sometimes I don't even have the... the I don't even have the, the, the motivation to get up and go bake crap. I'm going to tell you that. Sometimes I don't have the motivation. Sometimes I look at my orders and I'm going, ugh. And I take some deep breaths like, ugh. Not like I'm not appreciative, but I'm human. You know, and, and sometimes my body gets extremely tired. But um, for the most part, I love what I do. You know what I mean? Um, and if I didn't love what I do, you would have tasted that. Um, but the taste in my product shows you that I love what I do. You understand me? Because my products don't taste good. You understand? So the rum buns are coming out. The um, the rum buns and the, the Guinness cup, the Guinness cupcakes are coming out. The diabetic cakes are already a hit. Um, manu me ado, na manu me ado, manu me ado, manu me ado. This is not no makeup thing. Manu me ado, manu play play. This, I know what I'm doing. 
It's just that my business is growing out of my lap and I need a big executive. I need somebody to step in. And this is where I am finding, it's not an issue per se, but you know what's frustrating? It's when you know you have great products, you know you have a potential to get bigger and bigger and bigger than you actually are, but it's like you feel like you're, you're like, okay, where, where to now? You've already, you've already um, outnumbered and, and outperformed yourself. Where to now? And that's where I'm at right now. I'm, 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 I've already dominated certain things. Um, of, I've already accomplished certain things. So now where to? And that's where I'm at. Um, and this is why it's so important to kind of position yourself in, um, in an area where people, they know what they're doing. You know, you can't be in the company of people who don't know what they're doing because they cannot tell you what direction to go. They can't tell you what to do. You understand me? So that's where I'm at. You understand what I'm saying, guys? Am I talking too much? You guys understand what I'm talking about? You understand me? Let me know. Because I feel like I'm speaking to myself or like I'm talking to myself. Um, you understand what I'm saying? Like my business is growing out of my lap. It's so huge. Um, you know, you understand what I'm saying? That makes sense? You know? <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> That makes sense? Morning, Susan. You don't understand me? Yeah, man, you know my customers, man. You don't understand what I say? All right, I hope you understand what I say. Yeah, so, um, yeah, man, like, it's, it's growing out of my lap. And now I'm like, uh, you would listen to me the whole day? Oh. But I'm not old for chat door. <laughs> My business is getting bigger and bigger, and I'm like, uh, it's like you, you don't know. It's like you stepping into something that you didn't know would kind of like become so massive, and know that it has got reached a certain. Now that it has reached a certain stage, you're like, oh my god, what do I do next? You know, um. Yeah, like it's time for me to kind of like I feel like it's time for me to kind of like okay you know step, in, step into executive mode now you understand me like boom you know what I like guys I know you know what I like let me tell you what makes me proud Chara is looking at my business in print and I see my name there I see my whole company profile in print publicly and I see my name where it says CEO, blah, blah, blah. I see my name right there. Nothing, nothing makes me more proud to see my name right beside that CEO type of, and I'm not talking about, uh, 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 it's just how the business setup works, you know? Um, it's not like I pat myself or beat up myself on my chest and go, oh, I me on this. No, it's just how the way the, the business position, you know what I mean? It's really, it's really nice to see that. You know yeah it, it's really nice to see that growth you know um, you know and I really had to get my kitchen I really had to get a kitchen I'm doing things the right way big up to everybody who are message me with all of those motivational talks I really appreciate you guys you know I'm doing things the right way I started in my kitchen and then once I realized that the business was outgrowing me I went and I got my my industrial kitchen um, you, getting an industrial kitchen is nerve-wracking. It's not so easy. You know, you have to go through the whole state thing, which I did. Um, I had to go through the state, um, what you call it, you know, compliance and all of these other stuff. It's not easy. It's not about renting a kitchen. Plus, there is that there are the tax compliances and stuff like that that you have to abide by. Then there is the FDA thing, you know, getting my labels. You see how I have my food labels and stuff like that. I had to go and get my managerial, um, my managerial food, food safety thing. You know, it's, so it's, it's a step-by-step -step process. It's something that you have, it's something that you should, should want to do. It's not something that you, you should do because just the money, just because of the money. If it's just because of the money, you're not going to, you're not going to make it, it's, you're not going to reach far because all of a sudden the thrill, the thrill is going to die down and you're not going to want to do it anymore. 
this is something that you're going to, you, you have to want for yourself. You understand me? Um, so the, 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 the Guinness cupcakes are coming out. Um, the diabetic cakes are already out. I took a little while to work on the diabetic cakes because I didn't understand A1, A1C or what, you know, the whole sugar intake and the insulin. I didn't understand the whole thing behind diabetes. So I had to really sit and do some research as far as that's concerned and found a way to integrate, um, you know, all of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's gonna feel like, it, what, yeah, what I do doesn't feel like a job. It just feels like a little, like I'm doing a hobby. Like I'm, I'm you know, it's a hobby for me. You know, I love what I do, I really do, which is why I can come out with all of these products and, um, and just do my thing, you know? Um, yeah, man, it takes a lot of dedication, Carmen. It's not easy. You think, say, you look, we get bugs under my eyes. You think bugs under my, under my eyes are easy, sitting forget? <laughs> you think we get bugs under my eyes? I'm not even business about dressing up no more. When I don't realize that all me want to do is just get up and go bake. I'm not business about that. When I have time for dress up, I dress up. But really and truly, I don't really, them thing there, I'm not really focus on that no more. The whole of my clothes, them full of stains, you know, even when I wash them, them full of stains from baking and all of this. That's all, that, that's my entire wardrobe. You understand what I'm saying? The gain, the weight gain, because I have to eat my products. All of that is a part of it. You know what I mean? So the free cupcakes is mainly uh, for my customers. Uh, prospective customers, you could pay to get stuff. Um, I understand marketing and I understand, um, you know, I understand all of them things there. You understand me? But really and truly, and a full time yet, today is, today is for um, customers, customers. Today is for customers. <laughs> What's this truck man doing? Yeah, the Guinness, the Guinness cupcakes are coming out next. Um, I love working with alcohol, so the Guinness cupcakes are next. Yeah, man. Once, it, let me tell you. Once you, girl, let me tell you, Carmen. Once you understand your recipe, you're good to go. You could do whatever the crap you want with it. And I understand my recipe. Um, I have, I have a uniform, you know. I have a uniform, but mostly what I do, I bake in clothes, like you know, clothes where you know, mind if them stain up and stuff like that. Me have a uniform. Me have, me have uniform. But like my leggings and stuff like that, sometimes they're baking and they may not even business if they mess up. You know, I just eat my wear over and over again. Like I wash it and wear it, wash it and wear it. I have uniform. But remember the environment that, that I work in, I'm not like in a storefront. So it's not like people are going to walk in and see me. You know, you're not going to see me. You just know you get your products. Yeah. Um, the only time you see me is when you order stuff or you want to come and pick it up. You'll see me then. But for the most part, I'm in my kitchen, at my industrial kitchen working. Locked in my room, my lab, I call it the lab. Locked in my lab, I do my work and I do my thing. I don't know really get to see me. Yeah, I want me in there, I don't answer my phone, by the way. So if anybody I try to get to me, I don't answer my phone. It's just what I do. I don't answer my phone when I'm working. I don't talk to anybody while I'm working. Um, I don't answer my phone. I have, I have no communication any, with anyone while I'm in there. Only if you're like an employee or somebody where, where come in and I help me, me I would talk about certain things. But other than that, I don't really speak to outsiders. No disrespect, but I don't really talk or work. It throw me off. You understand? But um, I hope you guys are taking advantage of everything on the website. I'm going to go in, like I said, and I'm going to go in and add the actual. Um, I'm going to add the thing for you for the USPS. For those of you who prefer USPS and you probably are working on a budget, I'm going to add the USPS for you guys. Because I'm going to really like them, but yeah. It's just a kickoff to the baking season. Um, some people are asking for puddings. I want to do puddings, but guys, Jesus God, like um, shipping these puddings are a pain, man. Shipping the pudding them is a pain in the ass. Can you know pudding not tough like here, you know? Pudding kinda look a bit flexi flexible. So it's a pain to ship those puddings.
yeah so I'm here I'm gonna start working in a few minutes I'm just gonna run and get something real quickly um, get something to drink and you know something cold to drink before I go in so I will talk to you guys later so please take advantage of the free cupcakes guys please do uh, this customer appreciation I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it again until probably late summer um, so please take advantage of it um, it's gonna go until 12 noon today limited supplies available limited amount available um, go on and take advantage if it's done I'm gonna add some more I'm adding more like every now and then so if you go on right now and it's sold out I'm gonna add some more and I'm gonna add some more I'm gonna add them in stages so um yeah I'm just happy that my business is growing it's an amazing feeling you know um, and sometimes I sit down and I say to myself like what the hell you know um, what the hell did I step into you know but really this is exactly where I want to go I want to go the re the retail uh, option you know I really want to go retail that's that's where I positioned myself initially and that's exactly the direction I want to go and that's what's happening you know I'm not I'm not trying to compete against anybody I just came in the game and I just I knew what I wanted and I set my goals right in and there and that's what it is um, and if you come into any business and you don't know what you want you're gonna have a problem you're gonna have a problem if you're all over the place you're gonna have a problem you know what I mean um, nobody can speak on what I do because they're not in my business and they don't know what I'm doing so they, they can say what they want but they can't speak on my business as if they know anything because I nobody understands my business more than I do so no outsider or any idiots on Facebook can talk crap about my business and think that's how it's supposed to go because that's what they feel like. They're not in my business. They don't see my numbers. They don't see my projections. So they can't speak on my business. Okay? Just don't listen to the idiots. TinaChinCakes.com, RumCakeLab.com. Make sure Sono log on. Take advantage of the customer's appreciation day, especially if you could buy something and add on the free cupcakes. Once I see a sale, I'll send the free cupcakes. You understand what I'm saying? Say? Once I see a purchase, like say for example, you've never been a customer before and you wanna try my baked products, you can log on to the website and I will see, you could buy something and then you can add the free cupcakes as an option and I will see it. You know what I mean? That's perfect, that's fine. However, if you've never been a customer and you select the free cupcake option, and you've never been a customer and you're not buying anything in addition to the free cupcakes then I will cancel your order that's that's just fair you know today's customers appreciation day and I really don't want anyone to come and take advantage anyone who wasn't a customer to come and take advantage of what customers are supposed to get you know I have to value my customers who support me or who have supported me over the years you understand what I say? yeah I have to value them people there because I them keep me going you understand me? I them keep me going. Yeah. And for those of you who are waiting for or orders, authors, you make us say authors. Um, for those of you who are waiting for orders, those also will be processed. You're gonna get a tracking number shortly. Today's just bake day. So we're not gonna just see me in action today. I just be it, be it, be it. Orders that are paid for, orders that are pending, free cupcakes. A lot of orders are gonna be processed between today and tomorrow. I get enough rest. I feel amazing. I feel amazing and I've gotten enough rest and I feel amazing. You see my eye them? Yeah, man, I get enough rest, man. Man, I did not forget rest. Bra, bra. You think it's easy? We turn up in the kitchen there. Kitchen at you know? May I talk about ovens where I push out how much degrees I eat, you know? Me so go in. Me, 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 me see what. Me go in right now. I'm, I'm, I'm plugging my laptop for see what I go on from the website. Anybody who was never a customer, me go in and cancel them order because the computer tell me. The computer tells me. <laughs> it tells me who was a customer and who wasn't. It tells me. So if there is none available right now, me go in and see who wasn't a customer and free up and free up the cup, the cupcakes then. Yeah, me go free up the cupcakes then. Cause people bad. Mr. see the orders them in there. People bad. I see the orders. People bad. 
people bad. I <laughs> see the others them, but I me not me see them in details, but I see the others them. So, but I got to see the detailed others in a minute. And I got to see who and who from who not going there who are customers. <laughs> I have to deal with my customers them first. I them put me, I them keep me in a business. Alright. So I'll talk to you guys later. I'm gonna come back on for the rest of the day until probably like in the next couple of hours. If there's something that comes up, I'll jump on the live. But for now, I'm gonna really come on like that. Never take care of something real quick. Oh, it's so nice out. You guys need to go out and enjoy the weather. Go out and enjoy the weather. It's really nice. It's really nice out. Wow, it feels like it's very warm. Go out and enjoy the weather, guys. You have on you. Yeah, today is a nice day, right? Yeah. You see what they are talking about? Woman said today is not a bad day. I said yeah, today is nice. Today is a nice day. Yeah, I'm going to free it up. I'm going to go in in a minute and free it up. Hello? I look like a million dollars. Why not two million dollars? Why me I look like two million? I <laughs> say I look like a million. I say why me I look like two million? I'm going to get something. I ran out of something. So I'll be right back. All right? I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.